This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Themes are quite a common occurrence across Microsoft Office suite of applications, and Excel is no different. They have been introduced into Excel to allow for quick formatting and consistency within a spreadsheet. To access the themes menu, we go to page layout, and over on the left, you can see the themes section. Now in the themes dropdown, the default theme is office, and then we have adjacency, angles, apex, they're all alphabetical. And you can see as you move through them, a bit like all the normal formatting, the sheet behind is responding to any changes. So as soon as you find one you quite like the look of, you can stick with that. Now, having changed to the urban theme, that will control the colors that are now available to me for formatting the spreadsheet. If I go back to home and hit the little drop down arrow, you can see that we have a set of theme colors which are based on various main colors and then different gradients within. So for my heading, if I were to go, let's go that column there, indigo dark. And I could do the same for my month headings. Pick a color and go down the brown column, orange apparently. Now if I change themes, these are formatted at various points on that color bar. If I choose a different theme with different colors, they respond as well. You can see now the accounts and the month headings are changing colors because the color in that particular bar and accent is different. So they're responding totally to that. That one's quite a nice one. So you'll find the color for this item is still in the same place here, one bar up, but it's a different color because we've changed the theme. And the same for the accounts. Color is in the same place, which is at the bottom of the fifth column but it's a different color because we've changed the theme. So they can be quite useful for aiding consistency throughout your spreadsheet. Obviously, Excel's a number cruncher and any prettiness is an add-on, but the function's there. Page layout, themes, and change the theme. You can even browse for other themes on your hard drive that you may have downloaded from the internet, but you can save the current theme if you've been making adjustments to the color. Or we could go back to the default office theme, which gives us our default colors in the drop list. And these are the theme colors for the chosen theme. So fairly straightforward to use. You may or might not find them useful, but they're on the page layout ribbon.